you weren't supposed to notice. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is a very informal concert, and you are very welcome. Um, we have to say thank you very much to the Richmond Fest for helping us out with advertising, and um, you are all very welcome to hear us. We've met yesterday morning for the first time, some people having not met for 50 years um, behind me. I think original, the orig there are 60% or so of the original orchestra from 1974 went on tour um, with Barry Griffiths, and it's great to see Barry's wife here. Great. Lovely to see you here. Um, and there are lots of, lots of memories have been going around of um, how people used to play. <laughs> Um, so we have put together rather a lot of music um, for you, um, and we're going to start with Wagner. So, and it, yeah, okay. <laughs>
Had enough? Um, we're now going to do, play Delius. Um, unlike Der Meistersinger, this opera, Coango, has rather disappeared in the repertoire, and this dance, um, which is played at the wedding in the opera, is about the only thing that people remember about it. Uh, occasional opera companies do it. Uh, it's, it never really works. But this piece does work. It was taken out of the opera um, score by Eric Fenby, who used to write Delius's music down. Do you remember all those years ago? It was a wonderful film about him re reading about and hearing about Delius, who couldn't actually re write his own music. So he went out to France and wrote this music down from Delius making the most amazingly awful noises at him. Um, and he managed somehow to make this music make sense, make sense of this music. So this is La Calinda, the dance from the opera Coanga.
There's a certain amount of power sharing going on here, so that's why we're, we're moving around. Many years ago, um, Sir Thomas Beecham did a concert with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, and he changed the order of the first two pieces. So he went on and conducted the second piece on the programme. He then turned to the audience and said, Ladies and gentlemen, we will now play the piece which most of you think you've just heard. <laughs> um, we're going to change the order of the programme. So we're now going to play Finlandia, and then we're going to finish with the Elgar Enigma. We didn't think that we could play anything after we'd done Enigma. I um, mean, we'd not only be emotionally but tired and drained, but physically as well. So we're doing Finlandia now, and then we'll do Enigma.
If I could just say um, what a joy it's been to be with these people behind me for yesterday morning and yesterday afternoon and a certain amount of conviviality last night um, and this morning. Um, it's a joy to remember that this orchestra played together 50 years ago on tour and they can still come together. Some of them found their instruments in a loft and have dusted them down and had them mended or whatever. <laughs> and some have started only recently in COVID and found the instruments again that they used to play and come back to it. But it just proves how important music education is. It's already well proved and well documented that people who study music do better in all of the subjects. And it's a terrible shame that at the moment things are declining in the music education business. And anything we can do to make it better is vastly appreciated. And the poor kids of today aren't getting the same benefits as these lucky people got so many years ago, um, thanks to the education departments of those days. I keep on fighting against uh, cuts. It doesn't seem to do any good, but we keep on trying very hard. Um, and I just feel very sorry for kids who've got musical prowess, who can't actually find where to go and orchestras like this used to be, um, to play in. I have been privileged to do the North Yorkshire County Youth Orchestra until, before, um, until just after COVID, actually. Last summer, we did a final concert of the North Yorkshire County Youth Orchestra. Um, it's called, it is the final concert because the York Music Hub has combined with the North Yorkshire Music Hub. And at that time, nobody knew what it was all going to be called. Um, and also, nobody knows where the funding is coming from. And so this year, I haven't been told that there is a North Yorkshire County Youth Orchestra which, or a County Youth Orchestra for Yorkshire, which I think is a terrible shame. And it's because of the fact that we were able to have County Youth Orchestras under people like Barry and guiding people through and teaching um, these people here how to play and the joy of playing together and be able to go off from school and go to university or college and keep on playing and finding friends, not necessarily you know, keeping on playing in the orchestras, but finding friends for life. And certainly it is very important. So please, anything you can do to support music education and get at your councillors or your MPs, please do. Write to them, and it may feel as if you're not doing any good, but I was amazed that I actually wrote to my MP and he actually asked a question in the House of Commons. I don't know if it did any good, but I felt better for it anyway. So you know, that sort of thing is, 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 is something in that. But please, please, I just I think it's so wonderful that these people can come back here and just get on. And you should have heard it yesterday morning. Um, okay. <laughs>